At Western, we believe that universities should be places where we explore and even appreciate a diversity of viewpoints and voices as it makes us think more deeply, analyze more critically, and broaden our perspectives. It's designed to enlighten us, to help us think, to equip us. The We to Walk initiative is being created to foster a campus culture of responsible and respectful civic, social, political, and policy engagement. Universities have historically been considered the marketplace of ideas. That we can exchange ideas, and we can try on new ones, and we can discuss them, and we can change our minds if something doesn't fit. But even if you change your thinking, what's going to happen is you will still understand that original viewpoint. And that, either one of those things makes us stronger as a society. Action must be preceded by dialogue and the kind of dialogue in which more people than not feel heard because they are heard. We, StoryCorps, Western Michigan University, we both want the same things. To counter the current climate of contempt by shining light on our shared humanity and find ways to bring everyday people together. We spent many years experimenting putting strangers together for the first time across the political divides to have a story for a conversation, not to talk about politics, but just to get to know each other as human beings under the premise that it's hard to hate up close. And, you know, the dream is that uh, we convince the country that it's our patriotic duty to see the humanity in people with whom we disagree. And, you know, no matter where we are in the country, the accents change, the occupations change, but everybody talks about the same thing, their parents, the people they love, you know, death. It's the great themes of human existence. All of us have a responsibility to treat each other respectfully, to demand civility, to take the tone down, to object to what you're seeing on social media. But I think it needs to start in our communities where we need to stand up to this last lack of respect, treating each other with dignity. If we can't get this right on college campuses to build what my friend Jake Shrum, college president, calls a community of considerate conversation, right? A place where people can deepen into their own identity and be in positive relationship with people from other identities and cooperate together to enrich everyone. The bumper sticker version of this is simple. Respect, relate, cooperate. Folks, we don't live in a complicated political situation. People want similar things. When you can bring the human out in a conversation, it is profound, especially with the people that you believe are most disagreeable. But these are called the seven grandfather teachings because they're important. Uh, the first one is respect, acknowledging the inherent value of the people and the world around you. The second grandfather teaching is love for the people in the world around you without expecting that you get something from them. Truth, when you speak, speak the truth, but also speak the things that need to be said. Bravery is one of the grandfather teachings and it means to do the things that must be done. Wisdom, honesty, and then humility. Just be excellent to each other in the world around you. As Broncos, we're devoted to the pursuit of knowledge, to the free exchange of ideas, and to engaging in discourse in a manner that causes all of us to grow. Our celebrated We Talk initiative helps support our efforts to live up to our ideals of advancing viewpoint diversity and embracing free speech.